morning welcome back to my channel today i thought i would film a what we do in the day um because we're going to be packing for a family vacation today so i'm going to start by doing some hair and makeup so i don't look crazy in my video <laughs> bye guys I'm making my matcha green tea um, from Ceremonial Grid Matcha because it tastes better. Um, I drink this every morning because I can't have coffee right now because I have an autoimmune disease and green tea is better for me than coffee even though coffee tastes so much better. So we're going on a 10 day vacation to Destin, Florida and we're driving there so it's about 12 hours from where we live. So I have to pack his baby bag for the car and then I also have to pack his stuff for the actual trip while we're there. Um, so I'm going to show you everything to bring, give you some tips along the way and I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. So first off, swimsuit. you have to have swimsuits if you're going to the beach. So he absolutely loves Coco Melon, so I just got him this one. I got him in 24 months, so it's probably going to be a little big on him, but it's fine because it'll fit him all summer. This one I got him last year. It's Mickey, also 12 months. It was huge on him last year. Um, he is 20 months right now. And then this one is 18 months, so this one should fit him like perfectly. So here's the fourth one. It's just cute little carters. This is ready for the waves. I just thought I should get something that's not blue because I'm always buying this kid blue. I've brought him five pairs of shorts. So we're going to be there 10 days. So if I need to wash them, I can. These are just his play shorts. I made sure to get five different colors for him um, for his t-shirts. Then I got uh, three pairs of like cargo type shorts for when we go out at night because we usually go out to dinner um, when we're on vacation. Um, I'm bringing overalls because these are my absolute favorite thing to put them in. We do plan on taking family photos while we're there. Um, we usually take them every time we go. So I brought this and then this is what we did last time. I brought two cute tank tops. These are children's place. I don't know if we still have these or not. And I brought three t-shirts. So this one this one and this one these are all coals i love coals. so then i did five pairs of pjs and so i love kite baby pjs um i think they're excellent quality made they're nice and thin i also for um pjs love handling collective as well as uh little sleepies and so i have a bunch of kite um these are rompers from kite so i brought these for daytime and then this one's also kite for daytime. I think they're just so cute. And then this is a little one shop co romper. And then these are Gomi. I've always pronounced it Gumi, but I found out recently it's actually Gomi. And these are so cute on him. So that's all the clothes that I need to pack. I like Huggies Little Swimmers better than Pampers Splashers tip with the diapers do not put these on until you're about to go to the beach don't put them on and then go in the car to the beach don't put them on and then sit around the house for 30 minutes and then go to the beach put them on when you're about to go because they don't hold pee <laughs> they hold number two but they don't hold the pee so that's your tip with the diapers um, I brought these, I love these boogie hand wipes. Um, we use them when we go out to eat, we use them to wipe down the tables and stuff. And then we also, of course, you know, just use them for hand wipes. And they also make boogie wipes. It's just great when he's sick. I brought three packs of wipes. So three should last us 10 days. And then I brought 50 diapers. So what I did is I got this enormous pack from Target and I just took half of it. I think it was 116 count or something like that. And so I'm going to use that. That should last us through about five diapers a day. I do love Pampers for my actual diapers. That's what we use is the Pampers 360 and then Pampers nighttime diapers. 
are the best if you're looking for good nighttime diapers. I highly recommend the Pampers nighttime diaper. Water shoes. So these are his cute little water shoes. Sandals, and then we have play sandals in the car, and we always keep his shoes on the car because he won't keep his shoes on in the car seat. He'll just take them off. So I'm bringing these two plus the two that's in the car, and then I just brought four pairs of socks because he's probably gonna be in sandals most of the time. Okay, I got a few hacks coming at you. So these are very loved and very used. The Johnson & Johnson hand and face wipes. I love the smell of these. They're really great if you're just on the go and you gotta get them clean. Perfect for the car, perfect for vacation. Highly recommend these. Um, don't forget your Q-tips. Um, this is a special butt paste. I think this is called Happy Butt Paste. Um, we got it from our doctor. You can make it at home too, but um, I always bring it wherever we go in case he gets a really bad rash. Don't forget your hairbrush for the baby as well as yourself. I've done that a few times. So um, at home, we like to use Tubby Todd and Noodle and Boo products on him, um, but I have this from when he was younger that I had bought. So we just use this when we go on vacation because it's a two-in-one shampoo and body wash and it clicks shut. So it's easy to take when you are going on vacation. And then I love Tubby Todd. Tubby Todd and Noodle and Boo are my favorite brands. So I have a Noodle and Boo soft lotion for nighttime and then a Tubby Todd all over ointment. I use this primarily on his face. It's um, my travel bag for him for this reason right here. It comes with a massive, well used, um, pad to change him on. My uh, Jujube BFF also has one too, but it's not as big. And I love having two when we're traveling. That way I can keep his baby bag packed and then I can use this. Um, I'll set it up in one of the rooms in the hotel and that way we have a changing area while we're there instead of just having to get the baby bag out over and over. If we're flying, I don't bring this, but if we're you know driving, it's easy to take. Um, baby bags, I love this. I have an extra pack that I keep in his baby bag. I keep this in a baby bag at all times. So if we're at restaurants or whatever, I can easily change them. This is also nice for the hotels because um, when you're sitting there, they don't have like, I have a ubby, they don't have that there. So it keeps the smell away. Um, so we don't have to smell his poop the entire time we're there. This is probably my biggest baby hack for the beach. So if you're at the beach and you don't want sand on your child, put this powder on them. So this is Johnson & Johnson's powder. Um, it's talc free now, so don't worry about talc. Um, you just put it on them when you get to the beach and the sand will come off of them. And then if they do get sand on them, instead of pouring water on them, put this on it, get the sand off, and then go rinse them off at the um, rinsing station. And it will make your life so much easier and you can do this for yourself too. And then also ladies, um, for chafing at the beach, um, this is great. And also um, I think it's called Power Glide is the other thing I use. Both of these are fantastic and will help with that. So don't forget your baby powder. This is a free to baby. I love free to baby stuff. Um, it's just a, a nose um, boogie picker, but it's a four in one. Like you can do other stuff with it, but I primarily just use this for his nose. But I like that it has other stuff if I need it. And then the other important thing to pack for him is a hat. So when you think about some protection for a baby, instead of thinking, especially up until they're six months, instead of thinking sunscreen, think protection through clothing. So all of this clothing is UV 50, I think. These are 50. Um, and then we also try and stay underneath the umbrella as much as possible. Our hotel comes with a beach umbrella and chairs. And then if it doesn't, we always bring our own. Um, but hats are super important because you don't want them to fry their head. Um, so I do have three hats. I have two bucket hat types and they're both interchangeable. So he has um, multiple options. And then I have just a normal baseball cap. Oh, so this is my other baby bag. So I have three in total. I have my BFF that I absolutely love. And then I have this. These are both Jujube. The reason I love Jujube is because you can wash them. So we go to the beach, they get all dirty, they get all gross. They're on airplanes, they're, they go all over the world with us. Um, and then we come home and I can wash them, especially, um, I'm afraid of catching like bed bugs and stuff. So 
anytime we go on any sort of vacation before it goes into my house, it goes into my washer. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward right here. one woke up from his nap. Say hi. Can you say hi? You can have that. There you go. So this is what I'm bringing snack wise for him. I always like to have snacks on hand because toddlers go nuts. So I have three of these bottles. I can't find the other one. It's probably upstairs. I need to wash this one. This just came out of the dishwasher. So um, these are what I'm going to use for his milk. You want that? So those are great for traveling. I love that these are thin. Um, they fit inside of the baby bag really easily and they also fit like everywhere. This is what I use for his water. Um, it keeps it cool on the beach. So um, I could put ice in there and it'll stay cool for him. Um, so <laughs> this is from Sam's Club. It's a go squeeze thing but um, I just made it into a snack box. So I got the Plum Mighty Bars, and then I love these teensy snacks with puff quinoa. And then, of course, his other favorite, the Go Go Squeeze. So I put all of those in there, and then I'm also going to take these, which are his little teethy bites. He loves these, especially at night before he goes to sleep. Wonder Foods, we haven't tried this yet, but I'm sure he'll love it because it looks just like Puffs and he loves Puffs. And then I also brought him some Puffs. He's over there going num 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 because he's eating. Um, and then I brought two passies in case we lose one. We do keep one in the diaper bag at all times, just in case. And then what he was playing with earlier, we keep this in the car. So these are table toppers for if you go to a restaurant because um, I don't give him plates because he throws them. So instead I just put his feet on that and he's able to eat at the restaurants we go to. All right, it's day two. Okay, we're gonna pack up the car. That way we can just get in the car and go in the morning since it's a 12 hour road trip. We've done this a few times now, so we kind of got it down. Can you say good morning, Kai Kai? Kai? No, okay. Okay, so this is everything for me and my husband. I think I got it all. So this is three dresses. I'm hoping to take pictures in one of these two. This is a romper. I love lemons. Um, I bought three nice or four nice shirts and then play shorts and then um, nice shorts, three tank tops, and then some just normal t-shirts. This is my husband's like workout shorts and then play shorts. Workout shirts for him, um, sleep stuff for me, and then some nice t-shirts and polos. Those are towels and then my hats, my hair dryer, my straightener, cover up for me. It's really nice and lacy. I brought four swimsuits for myself. These are the shoes I'm bringing, the tour birches, Birkenstocks, and then just some Croc sandals. So this is the BFF. Um, it is his baby bag that we've had literally since before he was born. I love that it's Harry Potter. We are huge Harry Potter fans. Um, so first I have mosquito repellent. I have the bands and the stickers. Both of these are great. We are both mosquito magnets, so it's really nice to have that. And then I always keep a mask in here just in case because you never know if you forget one. And so mask stays in there and here I always keep chapstick if we're out and about I'll put like keys and stuff in here so we have chapstick and then I also have his um TV and gel in there and then in this little pocket in the front I keep a female hygiene pad <laughs> and then I also keep um his poop bags his extras in the bottom um I keep his poop bag attached to this little bar in the back that's meant for if you want to wear it as like a backpack and then I have this it's the be quick so if we're just at home I actually keep the wipes inside of here as well but um since we're traveling I have five diapers in there because that's usually what he uses in a day and then I also have his butt paste in there as well ready to go um, but if we're at, like, say if we're home and we're at a restaurant, I'll just grab this and I'll go to, um, the bathroom in the restaurant with him to change him instead of, um, taking the whole diaper bag with me. Wipes, 
for the road trip. Always bring baby wipes on the road trip because babies are dirty. Um, I have extra pair of clothes in here in case he has a blowout or makes a mess. More likely that he'll make a mess, less likely a blowout since he's older. I have this that has um, safety stuff in it. So I have gloves, alcohol wipes, band-aids, stuff like that. Always have a safety kit on you. Um, I also have the boogie mist in here that goes with the that goes with the boogie picker I showed you guys earlier. I've got snacks on snacks on snacks in here ready for him to go. And then this is really important. Um, either carry a plastic Ziploc bag with you or one of these. So this on the inside is waterproof. So we have used this multiple times from either having blowouts or throwing up or wet swimsuit, like whatever it is, we just throw it in here. And then when we get home, we can put this and whatever is gross, wash them off, put them in the washer. And it's a lifesaver. Highly recommend. This one's Itsy Ritzy. Um, it's a great brand. We've had this for literally since he was born and it's still in good condition. Wipes wise, we have those Johnson & Johnson ones I showed you. Um, boogie hand wipes, we use these to wipe restaurant um, surfaces as well as his hands when they're gross. And then um, Munchkin Passy wipes. We have sanitizers, so he knows both of these. I prefer the Honest because I think it smells better. Um, this one has no scent, it's alcohol free, but if you have a baby that has like eczema or whatever, the uh, baby Gannix one would be better for you, but this is a foaming, this is a spray, so those two are both great. This is the power glide I was telling you guys about. <laughs> Put it between your legs and it'll keep you from chafing, especially when you're like, you know, out on the beach and it's wet and stuff. Girls with thick thighs know what I'm talking about. Um, this is a sunscreen that we keep in his bag 24-7, no matter where we go, even if we're just at home. Um, I always have this in his bag. Um, for just in case emergencies. It's just the baby bum. We love baby bum products. Back here in the back pocket, you get a changing mat, which is great because changing tables are gross and you have no idea who's been there or what's been done on that changing table. So the only other thing is this and we keep his extra passy in here. We always have two passies on us in case he loses one, which he has multiple times. So Obviously, um, when we leave tomorrow, I'll have some uh, water for him as well and some milk. So that's it. I'm going to go finish packing everything else. Bye. I thought I would show you guys my sunscreens real quick. Um, my favorite one's Sun Bum, this 70 right here for the body, for myself and my husband. And then my favorite child one is going to be this Noodle and Boo or this Baby Bum 50 little tip for you if you don't know already always bag your liquids whether you're going on a flight or just a road trip because you never know if something's gonna bust so we always put them in bags it's also nice when you come back when everything's full of sand to have them in bags as well we are all packed and ready to go you ready to go buddy are you going on a trip we're going kai kai i can go to the beach